Transformers more than meets the eyes. So today we are going retro, really retro. We're going back to 1986 and revisiting the uh, toys from the Transformer movie from 1986. Uh, and we're going to be reviewing Hot Rod and his prime form, Rod and his prime. Um, as we know, here's Ro Hot Rod. And you know, the funny thing is Hot Rod and Rod and his prime, they don't look that much different in height. And actually, the toy Rodimus looks a little bit skinnier <laughs> than the Hot Rod, but it is what it is. I really like the actual robot form for Hot Rod, um, you know, um, and we're going to be transforming this later on. This is like this is classic. This is like almost a forty-year-old toy. So yes, some of the joints are definitely loose, and we have Rodimus Prime here, and Rodimus comes with his a. Um, trailer which you can sit on in, in battle force let me just pop this thing back on so rodimus uh we will be transforming in a moment uh but first we're going to be doing hot rod hot rod when it first came out uh you can see here his arms do bend up and down but there's not and uh but not too much mobility otherwise his arms do not swing up his legs don't move it's pretty basic um, transformer toy. Rodimus is a little bit worse. He doesn't bend his elbows at all. His legs are pretty stiff. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I prefer some of the G1 original from 1984-85 toys a bit better. I like them because you know those are the toys I really loved. I think to me when they introduced the future toys and killed off the old toy line, I think that was the end of Transformers to me. It was just starting to go downhill but hey let's take a look at these toys today so let's transform hot rod first so here's hot rod we're going to be transforming him so let's go ahead we're going to be swinging uh, uh, adjusting the arms a little bit twisting them in moving the feet down spinning the torso up and flipping his head in Kind of as so. You know, what I loved about the old Transformers is they, they were more simpler and more intuitive. The newer Transformers, they look, some of them look cool. I don't know, I don't love the new uh, Hasbro line right now, but uh, some of the newer stuff look really, really cool, but they're really hard to transform. <laughs> Uh, but these ones are pretty straightforward. You saw we just kind of swung everything in, built, twisted that in. In car-wise form, as we're finishing up there, we have the car form. Looks pretty cool. I mean, there are no cars that really look like this now. And I think the original Transformers is based 20 years in the future, in a give or take. 2004, I believe. But obviously, we don't have cars like this. <laughs> but, you know, if it was designed a futuristic car, this would look pretty good. And I think this is, uh, you know, you know, when, when you, you know, back in the day when I was a kid, I thought, yeah, that's a cool looking toy. Now, for, unfortunately, Hot Rod did not survive very long as far as being in the um, show at all, because obviously, he, he evolved into Rodimus. So most of the tenure of Hot Rod Rodimus Prime character was as Rodimus Prime. So let's look at Rodimus Prime. So Rodimus Prime uh, replaced Optimus Prime. And so that's why he has a trailer. And as a leader and as a character, uh, to me anyways, far inferior than Optimus, but it is what it is. He was the leader of the Autobots for the last most of the last few seasons, two seasons, seasons uh, of Transformers. So let's have Rodimus Prime transform. So Rodimus, a little bit basic in transformation. We flip the feet down. We're going to flip the torso up. Take that piece off there. Flip the torso up, just kind of flip his head in, move up, there we go, yep, flip the head in, flip the torso down, and push that back part in, 
squeeze the arms in together and then put his wing thing back on. Then we got to get the trailer ready. So let's put him into frame. So we're going to bend the gun cannon down, flip the trailers in. So, I mean, very basic compared to, you know, transformers these days, which have like 32 plus steps to them. Um, there we are connecting them. But yeah, you know, again, vehicle mode I like better than the robot mode. It looks more sleeker. I do prefer Hot Rod. You know, I wish they never really got rid of Optimus. I think that was a bad mistake. But, you know, here are the two vehicles. You know, tell us what you think. Did you, did you like Hot Rod as a character in Robin's Prime? You know... I mean, I guess you can make an argument that uh, Hot Rod created his own job when he uh, got off Optimus kind of killed <laughs> by, by, by interfering in, the, in his battle with Megatron. But uh, yeah, that uh, little bit of history here from, uh, you know, classic Transformers, Hot Rod and Rodimus Prime, his evolution. Um, tell us what you guys think of uh, Transformers and the uh, classic series and uh, what you thought about the Transformer movie as well as season three and four of the Transformers show in comparison to the first two seasons. Personally, I like the first two seasons and it started to kind of lose me in the third season. But hey, everyone's their own. And, uh, but here we got classic, um, four, almost 40 year old toys here. And this, yeah. You can see Transformers uh, transformation was pretty basic. Car vehicle modes look pretty cool. I love the hot rod uh, robot form more than the Rodmus, but um, you know, the uh, I think they're still you know as a retro toy, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So um, thank you so much. This is uh, Chucky from Collecting for Fun. If you like this video and want to see more Transformers, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll love to show you more classic uh, Transformers, as well as the other things we like to collect and 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 have uh, you know show you guys and and hopefully you like and enjoy as well. Okay, take care, guys.